Oh, how I do love seeing modern Star Wars fails. Welcome back to Words of Paradise. I'm your host, Leon Idol, and as I've made it abundantly clear on this channel, your boy's a big proponent of the EU, you know, the expanded universe, extended universe. Uh, well, let me tell you, a lot of people's introductions to the EU, it was not via the books or the comics. It was due to one very particular Star Wars game, Knights of the Old Republic, KOTOR, a game that Star Wars fans the world over love, which introduced us to mainstay characters like Darth Revan, Malak, I mean, the list goes on. And as we all found out a few years ago, it was getting a remake, because the game by Bioware is 20 years old, and one of the most iconic classic Star Wars stories got to be retold for a modern audience, right? Well, wrong. Let's get into this article and the speculation about the fact that the KOTOR remake has been axed out the door, baby. So first we're going to take a look at this quick little article that kind of goes through the details of why people think it's been cancelled, but then we're going to go through the trending tab on Twitter because it is trending and people got a lot to say. Has Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake been cancelled? And and look at this, if you've never played this classic game, if, if you have a Switch or Steam or whatever, it's on there. It's cheap. It's like five bucks. I think I got it for five bucks. I may even got it on sale for like two bucks. Either way, you, you got, you know, some, some fantastic characters, some storytelling, multiple endings. Like, the game, again, 20 years later, it's a Bioware game, guys. It holds up. You get to meet Bastilla Shan, man. Bastilla Shan, she's gonna become a Star Wars waifu for you, depending on your taste in women. The status of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake seems to be up in the air with rumors circulating that the game may have been cancelled. The rumors began when Sony made the trailer for their remake private, as well as deleting the announcement post made on Twitter. Yeah, so Sony, when did they, they privated it, deleted their Twitter stuff. It's like they were trying to shutter any and all conversation about this game, as well as take anything that references it out of the past. They're trying to twist history as if this game was never announced. Originally in development at Asper Media, Embracer Group shifted the game to Saber Interactive in August 22. Also, screw Embracer Group. Embracer Group, man, when, when, when your boy gets copyright claims on videos, I almost always win. Every time. Unless they come from Embracer. Embracer is the most, ooh, like, I got nothing but negative things to say about Embracer, and this only sort of adds to that list. The move was made after apparent issues with Asper Media during the game's development. Embracer Group called it a restructuring program at the time. Since that news, however, no updates on the game have been provided. Even Embracer's CEO, Lars Wingerfors, declined to, co declined to comment on the game back in May when asked by an investor. And yeah, in, in, into other Embracer news, Dead Island 2 launched well. Over 2 million copies sell out. Not sure if that means sales to retailers or, the, uh, or through to customers. And KOTOR Dodge. Investor question. Can you please clarify the current status of the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake in regards to its development status and what shape it's in? Embracer CEO Wingfors. Favorite question. Question. Pauses as question or chuckles. I have no further comments. Yeah, they, they're straight up just avoiding comments. So who knows how long behind the scenes this game has been shuttering. Like, we've heard little rumors and whispers for anyone that's been following this or following Star Wars news or video game news or any, you know, combination of the three. We've heard a lot of stuff behind closed doors that this game is in development hell, that it is not moving along as planned. And... Does anyone really care? I mean, I mean, legit longtime Star Wars fans who loathe the direction that Star Wars has gone. A lot of us are pretty okay with this. We don't want to see what could be the the greatest Star Wars video game of all time. Not my personal favorite, but arguably the greatest, bastardized by the modern day storytelling, modern day writing, if you can call it writing and storytelling. Either way, this is looking to be a blessing in disguise, or maybe it's not even in disguise. Maybe it's an outright blessing. When it was first announced in 2021, the game was planned to be a timed. Experience exclusive for the PlayStation 5. A PC and Xbox Series XS version of the game were also expected to be released, however. Insider Gaming had reached out to both Embracer Group and Saber Interactive, but both declined to comment on whether Knights of the Old Republic remake has been cancelled, or if the timed exclusive deal with Sony was no more. Lucasfilm also want, uh, was reached out to comment on the status of the game. What do you think is going on with Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake? Yeah, we, we know this. Well, let's take a look at what uh, is trending on Twitter. So, if you have common sense and actually played games before the remaster and modern fever, and I'm getting so tired, just gaming in general. Like, yes, I'm a Star Wars fan, but your boy's also a gamer, and I'm over the remake, remaster, all, all that, you know, reboot era, the reboot generation. I want good original IPs, or if we're gonna do, uh, you know, new uh, IPs that have been touched on before, like Star Wars, like Dragon Ball, whatnot, at least give us cool original new games, if not, you know, so that they're not remakes or reboots. Is that too much to ask for?
The first thing you should do as a Kotar fan is get a good bottle of champagne and celebrate! This game was dead from the very start and thankfully we didn't get a modern audience treatment because if you guys did not know who was in charge of doing this game, it was this chick right here, Sam Mags. Now look at this, you know, tell me that doesn't look like the most stereotypical sort of, and I don't like using the term SJW, that's a real outdated term, but I mean that's what they call her here in SJA I guess, social justice activist Sam Mags, and now she quit Knights of the Old Republic remake. Can you, now this game, this Star Wars game, game, it's not your normal PG Star Wars. It goes out of its way to be a little bit different, a little bit more for adults. It's not like a full-on M-rated game. You're not going to get, like, sex scenes and blood and gore. But it does very, very, you know, goes very dark for Star Wars. It does take its time and really introduces you to a dark, dirty, gritty version of the galaxy far, far away. And I don't think there's any way we would have gotten that intact with somebody like this in charge. Uh, PlayStation is private. Yes, yeah, so that was just them quoting that. Um, then we've got some, you know, I'm still upset said about the KOTOR remake, so I I'm sorry, I don't know what you're upset about. This is what I would do if the KOTOR remake actually came out and we saw that it was written for modern audiences. Um, BioWare's KOTOR remake trailer has been made private. Their tweets and posts about the game have also been deleted. Got him! Eh, good job, Data Racer. You out here fighting the good fight because you know that nobody wants this. No legitimate actual fan of Star Wars or of Knights of the Old Republic or both. You know, because that's the thing about Knights of the Old Republic. It wasn't just for Star Wars fans. People that didn't really like Star Wars loved this game because it was that great of an art. RPG. Like, it was a very well done video game with incredible RPG elements, character creation, again, multiple ending. When you play a role playing game, that's what you're, you're, it's in the name, role playing. You could choose different paths. You could make, it was very decision based, decision heavy, altering certain characters, personalities. So, this was a massive win for gamers when this game came out. And you know, there's no way none of that's going to be left intact nowadays, especially with an awful attention span that most gamers have. I mean, we saw what happened in Resident Evil 4 Remake. I I know, I'm going to get shade for it. It's not as good as the original. Almost no remakes these days are as good as the original. You guys like Final Fantasy VII Remake? Fine, it's a fine game, but it's a bad remake. Johan here says, people know they can still play the game, right? It's been out for 20 years. There's actually two KOTOR games, believe it or not. Yeah, buy the bundle. Get them both. You're not missing anything by not getting this remake when you've got the classics right here. You know, the, uh, Zadina Tasty. I thought it was common knowledge this game already got shit canned, and we're just waiting on the announcement. Baron mind, it was originally being worked on by people who legitimately hated the original and there's currently a class action lawsuit going on against KOTOR 2. Now, I didn't know about the class action lawsuit. I'll have to look into that more, but yeah, it was all, like, like they said, it was common knowledge. The, the developers working on this game weren't fans of the original game. Now, I don't know if they were fans of Star Wars in general, but whether they were or weren't, I mean, that doesn't matter. If you're remaking a game, most individuals, if you are you know, wanting a remake, want a ground up remake. They want the same thing, just with modern graphics and maybe some quality of life change Anyone that knows anything about video games in 2023 knows that's not what we were going to get with this KOTOR remake. Here we got somebody. Bad news. This is Star Council. He, him. Of course, a Star Wars account that has pronouns in their bio would consider this bad news. Bad news. Most likely, we should expect the cancellation of Knights of the Old Republic remake. The network knows that Sony deleted messages about KOTOR on social networks and hit the announcement trailer for the game on its YouTube channel. This, this is the type of modern day Star Wars fan that these games are being made for. And maybe, just maybe, Lucasfilm and all these other individuals are realizing they don't actually buy things. They don't buy the products. These products don't make them money when they're being catered towards activists. You find me a Star Wars fan with pronouns in their bios, and I'll find you someone who's not actually a Star Wars fan. They're a Kathleen Kennedy fan, and if you really want to break it down, they're not even a fan of her. They're just a fan of anybody that, you know, destroys source material and puts politics and agendas in modern day nerd culture. So yeah, I guarantee you Star Council's he, him, never actually played the original KOTOR here. And really, that is the news. It's not anything major. I mean, yes, you can call it major. I guess Star Wars remake getting canceled. A remake of the probably the single most famous Star Wars video, video game of all time getting canceled. But what I wanted to show you guys was the trend on Twitter. How many individuals out of everything I showed you, how many individuals praised the cancellation? They were happy that this was getting the axe. And there was like two that were upset about it. Now, I'm sure if we kept going through, we'd see, you know, a, a smattering of other people that are upset. But the vast majority of people are happy this got canceled. They did 
didn't want this remake, and for good reason. They know the writing is on the wall when it comes to anything modern Star Wars that's going to be Disneyified. Like, I don't know how they were going to make the new Co uh, KOTOR game, uh, the remake of the KOTOR game, tie to the Rey saga, to the, the sequel trilogy, but you know they were going to find a way to do so. There's nothing that Disney can do to, to make old EU fans happy because they've spent so many years destroying and bastardizing all the love and care the EU fans and the original EU writers have put into their time spent with Star Wars. So when you know that there's going to be a new KOTOR game, your first question is, Alright, what are they going to destroy to do so? Like, like, what, what, what's going to be taken out of the game? Or what's going to be injected into the game? The majority of people are stoked this game is being cancelled because now there's not an opportunity to ruin KOTOR like that. And if that doesn't show you that real Star Wars fans are still alive and well and genuinely do want to see the series get good again, man, if none of this had ever happened, if, if Disney had never bought Star Wars and let's say it was Lucas all the way up to this day and a KOTOR remake was announced, you wouldn't be seeing it getting cancelled. We would be, if it was under modern George Lucas Star Wars and we saw a KOTOR remake get announced, people would be stoked. That's how far Star Wars has fallen because people know that Disney Star Wars isn't Star Wars. But those are just my opinions. Let me know yours in the comments down below or let me know on X where you can find me at Bolt the Word. And please do subscribe. I am a nerdy news channel. I cover nerdy news every day. Uh, not always about Star Wars and video games, about anime, Magic the Gathering, movies, music, you name it. Uh, I also start an Instagram. You can find me at Words of Paradise underscore Leon. If you want to get a look at some of the things I do behind the scenes or some, you know, after after effects, after shots of, you know, what, what a life is like in the day of Leon. You know, I got some pretty cool, interesting little things on there and with more to come. Until then, please you subscribe and it's all here in the nerdosphere and this has been words of paradise